This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Ahoy, this is Zdenka. Another creative camera challenge is here with any camera. You can use smartphone, mirrorless, DSLR, you name it. Well, as the title of the video already suggests, the theme is red. Let's talk about the meaning of red color and where you can find it in photography. A lot of photo examples are coming up. Red is a vibrant color which can mean many things. It is a color of importance and authority. Color of blood, passion, seduction, intimacy and love. It has become a symbolic of sacrifice, danger and violence. Red can also mean vitality, danger and embarrassment. It is a color of fire. It can also signal destruction, warning, warmth or heat. Red has become a sign of status and royalty. This color has been used lots during celebrations and ceremony. In nature, you can find it in the leaves during the fall time or during sunset. When the sun goes really down and everything gets red, it's a meaning of seasonal change and time. As a photographer, you can use the red color to make the images stand out and get your message across. Well, let's talk about different types of photography and how you can actually use the red color in them. Street photography is all about capturing the life on the street and the candid life, the candidness. Well, where can you find red? When you look around, you can see it in a traffic lights, on a car lights, maybe some advertisements, some signs, some parts of architecture have red in it as well. For street photography and candid, you need to train your eye, you need to be able to find it. But once you find it, it can certainly help you to have the image really stand out. For example, if I'm taking a photo of a busy street where there are all kinds of colors, everything looks kind of like a mess. But if there is a big object which is red and it's really in the center of attention of the image, then the eyes are immediately drawn to that object. The photo will definitely stand out. First photo I would like to show you here is from Czech Republic. I took this photo when I was there a few years ago. Look at all those caps on the fence. Well, the red ones are certainly bringing the most attention. Another photo is also from Czech Republic. This was in Stenberg, smaller city. I just laughed that bicycle cut in half attached to the doors. The vibrant color is certainly seen from far away. This last photo I took in Collingwood here in Ontario, Canada, I was playing a bit with colors, but liked this combination the most. Made everything black and white and only left the red color stand out. Portraits will look very dramatic if you add something red to them. Red lipstick, red nail polish, perhaps sunglasses, hat, purse, shoes or parts of the outfits. It will show emotion and passion. Red is like a leading lane. When you look at the photo when there is something red, it will lead your eyes literally to it. I love taking beauty shots, especially with amazing makeup and wardrobe. I miss so much working with models. I just want the virus thing to be over finally so I can start working with them again. As you're looking at these photos, the lipstick sometimes a nail color doesn't photograph exactly bold red, but you can certainly change the color or tweak it in Photoshop to make it look like that. Especially when you have other color in the photo, but you realize that it would look so much better if you changed it to red. The next few photos are with a very colorful wardrobe. It can be very rich looking. Take a look at this photo. Sometimes you don't have to have too much red in the photo. Martina is wearing a red belt and still the belt draws my attention to it to notice that. And this one is one of my favorites, Christmas seasonal shot. I photographed this one for stock. Food has a lot of red items, strawberries, cherries, tomatoes, red peppers, hot peppers. When you look at the red food, you know immediately how it tastes, how you're going to feel after that. So it can be sweet, it can be spicy, it can warm you up, especially in the winter months, tomatoes, soup. Red wine would be another one. Do you remember these photos? This one was taken in a studio. The frozen fruit brings a lot of attention. Another one of the frozen fruit this time in natural light. Last one is the Bailey's ad. That was quite time consuming shoot, but it was fun. Nature and landscape have a lot of red color in it. The most typical ones are flowers, little bugs, ladybug, or butterflies with red wings, birds, sunset, beautiful sunset, fall leaves. 
Well, if you pair the red color with green, you're gonna create yourself a very strong contrast. Next time you're out in the nature, keep your eyes open, look for red. I will never forget these two sunrises. Two years ago, I was filming early in the morning and when I saw this, I took it just with a smartphone. I never realized our hometown could look like that. Every day you get different cloud formations, different colors and different looks. This one is from Slovakia. I'm missing those tall mountains. I love the red boats and details. Such a great contrast with green. Speaking of contrast or red and green, next two photos are portraits. They are not landscape and nature, but I wanted to show you how it's gonna look like when you pair green and red. Abstract art photographers use red to help you understand what they are trying to tell you through the image. On other areas of photography, like sports, events, uh, still life, advertisement, the list can just go on. There are so many places where you can find red. This abstract photo I took for stock. Flowers with splashes. This photo was combined in Photoshop. I took photos of milk splashes separately and then changed the color in a pose to match it with the color of the flowers. The metal. Yes, I went a bit overboard with the red on this one. Next two shots are just photos of products. If the red wasn't there in the photos, it would look quite dull and boring. The red gives it the special punch in the photos. Double exposure. Fun thing to do with a camera. You just never know how the result will turn out. And this photo is one of my most favorite wedding photos I took. Pitch black church. I used only the bulb light as the main light source. The red carpet is leading your eyes to that couple. The photos can be typical or they can be different. How about instead of just taking a photo of red objects on white background or black background, how about you put it on red background and then just use shadows, put the shadows to work. How about grabbing an RGB light, turning it to red to change the look of the image or grab something soft and just put it very close to your lens to just get the little red in the shots. Think outside of box. Well, how can you submit the photos? First of all, Thank you very much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and to run your business. I've had my website with Squarespace for a year now and the experience has been just excellent. All you have to do is choose one of their award-winning templates, which you can fully customize, choose a domain name and you are set. If you need help, they have 24 seven customer service. They have all the tools you need. You can link all your social media there and display it directly on this first page like I do. One of the features I really like as a photographer is their portfolio and galleries, which are pre-designed. You can choose the look you like. You can also create password protected pages just for your clients. Another feature I like is blogging tools. It is very easy to write a blog, add photos and videos and schedule it to be published at a later date. Lastly, appointment scheduling is also available to make it much easier for your clients to see your availability, book or reschedule if needed. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash zdenka to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, Creative Camera Challenge time. You may submit your red theme photos for a chance to be featured in a review video in early July on this channel. Where can you submit the photos? Well, first of all, the deadline is June 31st, 2021. You can upload the photos to Facebook group called ZD Camera Challenge. I'm gonna link it below in the video description or you can post it to your Instagram account and use hashtag ZDChallengeRed. I cannot wait to see your work. Hit the thumbs up if you want to and don't forget to subscribe. Questions, comments, leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.